Hello my dear family members, today I came with a new company question, just guess what? Yes, you are right, NPCI. You may have questions, why did I choose to upload NPCI content? Yes, you have valid question. And the answer is, the coding question I am going to discuss was actually asked in Accenture exam earlier. That's why I thought it will be helpful for other companies guys as well. Okay, without any expanding, let's get into the topic. So the question was regarding Google number, right? So the problem statement is you are given a number in your task is to check whether the number is googly or not googly. A number is googly if the sum of the digits of that number is prime. So uh, at first you have to sum all the digits then you have to check if that sum is prime or not. If the sum is prime then you have to print googly and if the sum is not prime then you have to print not googly right. So you have to perform two operations that is sum of the digits and check if prime or not right. So the input format is the input consists of a single line the first line contains an integer n and the output format is print the string denoting whether the number is googly or not right so here's the constant please follow that first sample input is 21 and the sum of these digits is 2 plus 1 that is 3 and 3 is prime number that's why we are printing googly and in case of 13 so 13 is uh, the, the sum of 13 is 1 plus 3 that is 4 and 4 is not a prime number so we will print not googly right so i hope you understood what your task is right so if you uh, if you understood the task if you understood the problem then please solve because this question is very much easy right so this much easier question yeah, you can't expect right so please start solving and uh, give the answer in the comment section before i answer right so let's get into the answer okay so actually i'll solve the problem in java so if you want the solution in python then let me know i'll try to assist you in the comment section right so uh, what should be the approach to the solution that is at first we will uh, sum the digits then we'll uh, check if that sum is prime or not right so let's uh, do it inside the main function right so you can build uh, two other functions like one is for sum, sum of digits and second one is for ch check prime right so let's do it okay so i'm not taking the input from the user so just let me uh, define it so int num is equal to let's say 21 at first okay so now what i will do i will do a, an operation that is sum of digits so actually i have uploaded a playlist uh, that is regarding one code is equal to 100 code if you watch that then you can solve this problem very easily because uh, in that particular playlist i have solved a particular code snippet and uh, by that snippet you can solve hundreds of codes so please go through that playlist and you will be able to solve many type of problems right okay let's solve i mean let's uh, perform for sum of digits right so while the num is not equal to zero what i will do i will at first uh, extract the last digit and i will uh, sum that uh, one by one all the digits right okay let's uh, take uh, i mean let's uh, take the last digit so int last digit is equal to the num mod 10 right so this way we are extracting the last digit and we will now sum uh, the last digit with the sum variable that was int sum is equal to 0 right so now sum plus is equal to the last digit right okay now what i do i will uh, remove the last digit i mean 1 from uh, 21 and then i will check for 2 in the next iteration right so let's uh, remove 1 from 21 right so num is equal to num by 10 and uh, the 1 is removed and 2 is the new value of num variable right so now we'll, it will check if num is equal, not equal to 0 yes num is not equal to 0 and it will again do the operation like sum is equal to now 1 plus 2 so this will be 3 right okay so now what i would do now as of now sum becomes 3 right so i will assign a variable new variable or i uh, i can perform with the sum okay so now i will check if the sum is prime or not right so sum like uh, i have to run a for loop for int i is equal to 2 because from 2 we will check because 0 and 1 will not consider those as prime right so from 2 i will check how much i will check uh, up to n by 2 right 2 get the optimized value right so to reduce the time complexity we'll 
run for n by 2 right for up to n by 2 element right so i plus plus and i will check if the n i mean uh, sorry if the sum sorry this should not be n right this is sum okay because we are checking if the sum is prime or not right so if the sum mod i i mean if we divide the sum by 2 3 4 or anything if this is become 0 that means it can be divisible apart from 1 and it can be divisible by uh, apart from the number itself right so that's why we will uh, will assign that is it is not a prime number so how do you do that i would uh, as i will initialize a boolean variable let's say true and i will make uh, the b false here right because this is not a prime number and i will break that loop as soon as I get that the sum is uh, divisible apart from one and the number itself, right? Okay. Now what I would do? I will check if the b is true. Then what I would do? Sorry, b not b. Yes, if the b is true, then I will print that uh, the number is uh, googly number, right? And if the number b is false, then I will print i will print that the number is not googly number right okay so let's let me run it and if uh, let's see if this is right or not okay so okay so 21 that is uh, 2 plus 1 that is 3 and 3 is a prime number so this is a googly number right so the second input was 1 3 13 so 13 that is 1 plus 3 that is 4 4 is not a prime number so uh, this will not be a googly number right so this the output should be not googly okay so as expected okay let me run it for another input let's say 1 3 1 that is uh, also 4 okay okay let me run it for uh, 4 so 4 plus 3 that is 7 plus 1 that is 8 8 is not a prime number and 8 is not a googly number as well so not googly okay so if i add 3 here so this becomes 11 so 11 is a prime number so this is a googly number right so output should be googly okay so as expected so i hope you understood the logic and the syntax behind this uh, concept behind this uh, code if you didn't understand yet then let me know in the comment section i will try to assist you right so i hope this video added value to your career if you think then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture or any other company that you want and if you want the materials for any company then let me know i will give you in the instagram account so thank you for today's session